Well, the weather's not very nice today. We've had some lovely two or three nice warm days where I've enjoyed doing things in my garden. But really, I think I need a few bad days to um, to get over what I've been doing in the garden because I don't think I can um, bend over pulling weeds out and up and down and digging garden for too many days. I need to give my body a rest. So I'm going to do some bacon today, do some jam tarts today. I'm going to make some jam tarts and I'm going to make um, make it with uh, sweet pastry because they are better for, um, for jam tarts because I haven't got anything like um, any cakes or anything like that in the house so it's something to do so I'm going to do some jam tarts first I've got um, 150 grams of plain flour which I'm going to sift and into that I'm going to put a pinch of salt and a pinch of salt the sugar That's 35 grams of sugar. I'm going to sift those together. It should have been um, caster sugar, but I haven't got any caster sugar. I'm using um, just granulated sugar. And I've sifted those, so I'm now going, now I'm going to add the some ground almonds there's 50 grams of ground almonds which I'm just going to mix in just going to mix it. and I now have 85 grams of margarine margarine so i'm just going to to cut it up in the um while it's in the mix and then you need to rub that fat into the into the flour and the uh, almonds and the sugar, mix it all well in together. I think that's well mixed in. Now into that mixture, I have one egg and this was somebody was going to have a lucky lucky egg here there was two yolks in it would be in twin chickens and into that mixture i'm going to add a very small teaspoon of vanilla essence this is the the vanilla it's madagascan vanilla extract It should only be for this amount, it should only be half a teaspoon, and this is a very small teaspoon. So I'm going to add just not quite a full spoonful. Then you make a well in the bottom of the, the mixture and add that egg. And then use a knife to mix it up, mix it into the soft roll. 
and I'm going to put that mixture into a cellophane bag and put it in the fridge for half an hour it helps it to to firm it up a little bit Right, I've got the pastry out of the, the fridge, it's chilled enough. I've set my oven to 200 degrees, mine's electric, but if it's gas it would probably be about number six I think. So I've got the flour shaker to put on the, the bench. I'm going to roll it out to the thickness of about about a 20p piece something like that you have to use your own judgment for how thick you like um, the pastry on your jam tarts that's my tree I'm putting the, them on I've lightly greased the, um, the tree and I'm going to try a three inch cutter at first because I don't want them to, to shrink away in the thing. I'll try one first to see. I have to roll the pastry up again. So I'll take all this pastry up out the way. So there, I've got 12 pastry cases. And I'm using, it's just cheap strawberry jam because uh, I didn't want big lumps, chunks of strawberries in it. I just want the, um, the smooth fruit, that strawberry and apricot. And I'm going to do six of each. Probably put about a dessert spoon of jam in each each one. Let's see if we caught. Now I'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes and I have a little bit of pastry left here I'm going to make some more cases with it and I have some I think a little bit of mincemeat left in the jar I might make some mince mincemeat tarts as well I have a smaller tree here it's it's got six things in but I don't know how many I'll get out of this the edge in the oven when the other ones come out and one in the top let the air out I 
And then he'll go into the oven for about 20 minutes. Well, there's my jam tarts all done, ready to eat. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll show you more when I get round to doing more.